Hi and welcome to Frequency Polygons. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a no shot revealed for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so we're going to begin uh, with a table giving us information about the speeds of 70 cars. And what we have here, we have um, grouped data, continuous data um, for the speed. So from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 miles per hour. And we've been given a frequency for each group. And what we've been asked to do is to draw a frequency polygon for this information. Now, the most important element that we need to begin with is where we are actually going to plot these points. We can obviously see we need to plot the frequency as the y-axis, as it is uh, shown that the y-axis is the frequency. But then we have the speeds. How do we plot a group which is 0 to 10? Well, the important thing here is that we need to use the midpoint. We use the midpoint of the group to represent the group as a whole. So how do we find the midpoint? Well, usually it's quite simple. It's just the halfway point between the two values. But if you want a method that will always work, you can take the start of the group, add the top of the group, so 0 plus 10, and then half it. So 0 plus 10 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. So my midpoint would be 5. In the next group, halfway between 10 and 20 is 15. Halfway between 20 and 30 is 25. And halfway between 30 and 40 is 35. And so when we come to plot those points, the first thing is we need to find the midpoint of the group. So the first one is 5 with a frequency of 14. So we go to 5 and we go up to 14 on the graph and we just draw ourselves a little cross. Next, we want to go from 15 up to 18 and draw a little point. We want to go from 25 all the way up to 26. And again, mark a little cross. And from 35, we want to go up to 12 and mark it with a little cross. Now, the important thing here is what do we then do with those points? Well, the word, uh, the name is a frequency polygon. Polygons means connected straight sides. And so that is what we're actually going to do here. We're going to draw lines, straight lines, joining one point to the next. And all we need to do is join one onto the next and on to the next. And that is a frequency polygon for the information. Okay, so now we're going to look at actually reading some information from a frequency polygon. Um, so in this case, we've been given the heights of some students um, and we've been asked what is the modal group of heights. Now, if we are dealing with the mode, mode always means most common. And so we're looking for the most frequent value. Well, if we have a look here, the most frequent is the highest point on the graph. Now, the important thing is we were looking for what the group was. Now, the point here is actually marked at 165. Now, as we saw before, we plot all the points at the midpoint of the group. Now, if we have a look here, each of our points that we have drawn is at a five here so what we can say is each group must be 10 wide and the midpoint therefore must be between 160 and 170 and so the modal group would be 160 to uh, up to uh, 170 centimeters so that is the modal group it then asks how many students were measured and so in this case, what we just need to think about is what the frequencies were. So in the first group, the frequency is 10. In the next group, if we read that along, it is at 17. And then in the third group, we are at 5. In the fourth group, uh, we are at 23. And in the last group, we are at 15. And so if we add all of those together, what do we get? Well, 10 plus 5 plus 15, well, that is 30, 47, 50, 70 students in total. So 70 students were measured. And then it asks what fraction of students measured were between 130 and 140 centimetres tall. Well, again, in terms of the group 130 to 140, well, the value must be this one here the 10. So there were 10 students who were between 130 and 140 centimetres. It asks what fraction, 
And so that is out of the total number of students. So 10 out of 70. And if we simplify that, it will be 1 out of 7. And so we'll end with our exam question. And this came from the NXL paper in November 2017. And it was on foundation and higher paper 3. Um, so the table shows information about the heights of 80 children. And we've been told all the frequencies for all of the groups. And all we've been asked to do is to draw a frequency polygon for the information in the table. And so the key thing here is, again, we need to be thinking about midpoints. So we want the middle of each of these groups for us to plot our values. So the midpoint between 130 and 140, well, that's going to be 135. And then 145, 155, 165. And 175 and all we're going to do is we're going to plot the frequencies at each of these heights so 135 up to 4 there's my first point 145 going up to 11 155 going up to 24 165 going up to 22 and 175 going up to 19 and there we go now the key thing here remember once again we need to join these points together one to the next with a straight line so straight line joining each point one to the next and trying to keep it as accurate as we possibly can